So we're going to graph this absolute value function. And how we're going to graph this just to start is our best friend in the world, table of values. So we're just going to pick some values for x and we're going to figure out what y is. So let's pick our favorite numbers when we're graphing. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So the absolute value of negative 2 is just going to be 2. It's just going to make that positive. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1, 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 2 is 2. So we're going to plot these. So we're going to go to, we're going to go to 0, 0. We're going to go to negative 1, 1 and 1, 1. And we're going to go to negative 2, 2. And we're going to go to 2, 2. And what we have here is we have a V shape. And this is what the absolute value looks like. Now, I like to think they call it absolute value because it makes a V, but that's probably not correct. But that's our absolute value. It's a V shape. Now, it's a very, very similar in terms of opening, um, pointing up, continuing on forever, etc., like we dealt with in quadratics. And what I want you to keep in mind when we're doing absolute values is everything that you did in quadratics. We're going to just use the same logic that we did with quadratics. And if you remember for quadratics, if we had y equals a x minus h squared plus k, the a value told you the direction of the opening and whether it was expanded or compressed. The h and the k were the vertex. This is actually written in the same form, except what we do is we replace the the squared part of the function with our absolute value. So it's no longer a quadratic. It's now the absolute value. But the vertex is still at the same point. The vertex is going to be at h and k. And our k value, not 5, I made a mistake there, let's just put this in as k. That's where our vertex is. So the vertex always, and again, absolute values are very similar to quadratics. The vertex is at h and k. So in this case, h and k is going to be 3 and 5. Well, that's our vertex. Now we could actually label that on our graph right away. So let's go to the graph 3 and 5. So we go up to 3, cross 3, up to 5, there's our vertex. Now, before we do this, we can actually look and see. The number in front, remember the number in front of a quadratic told you whether it expanded, same thing here. So this 2 is going to tell us that this absolute value has been expanded. And the negative is going to tell you that it opens down. But we can verify this all with a table of values. Now what we're going to do with a table of values this time is we're going to use the vertex to our advantage. We're not going to put points that aren't around the vertex because that's what we're concerned about, points around the vertex. So let's put our x value in and our y. And x is going to be 3. And we know that when x is equal to 3, y is going to equal 5. So let's put x equals 2 and x equals 1. And if we do that, we're going to be able to go 4 and 5. And the symmetry is going to take care of itself. And we're going to know this, the values for 4 and 5, which are the same as the values for 1 and 2. So let's check x equals 1. If we put 1 in there, we're going to get negative 2, absolute value of 1 minus 3 plus 5. So this is going to be negative 2. Now the absolute value of negative 2 plus 5. So negative 2 times 2 plus 5. So we're going to get negative 4 plus 5, which is just 1. So we're going to be at 1 and 1. All right, so let's just check x equals 2. Oh, and because of symmetry, we know if we're at 1 and 1, we're also going to be at 5 and 1 y equals negative 2 
absolute value of 2 minus 3 plus 5. So we're going to get negative 2, absolute value of negative 1 plus 5. So we're going to get negative 2 times 1 plus 5, which is negative 2 plus 5, which is going to be 3. And we're going to be at 3 and 3. So we'll just put the points in. 2, 3 is right here. 1, 1 is right here. 4, 3 is right here. And 5, 1 is right here. And once we have our points, sketch in our V. We know it's always going to be that V shape. Absolute value. Check some arrows on the end and problem solved. There is the graph of y equals negative 2 absolute value of x minus 3 plus 5.